You're watching T Radio V. Radio in TV. Welcome back, and I can tell you now that we are on T Radio V, and you know that because you're watching us as opposed to the starting of the show about 15 minutes ago where I gave a domain that really didn't exist, and that's the way that I do things. And joining me right now, um, God, I always hate when people say this, but it's so true in this case. One of my oldest friends, we have known each I knew you, I think, did I know you even before Tammy? I think I knew Ryan before Tammy. Didn't I meet you? Uh, you met me. Oh, we love there you go. go. You met me after Ryan. Ryan introduced me to you. Okay. Yeah. But I went to ICE. Right. So, I so go that was a club even ice. before yeah. Cat House. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and uh, so, so Gilby, myself, and our friend Keith and all of us, we rode motorcycles, but we didn't have any money then. No. This wasn't Guns N' Roses, <laughs> no. MTV days. No. This was, so what did we used to ride on? We, we used to ride on Honda Rebels. We had Honda the Rebels. Big old 250s. They were 250s. <laughs> if you add all of our three motorcycles together. If we would, still wouldn't have a Harley. It still wasn't as enough. But Gilby is always, I, I wish I would have prepared and brought some of the pictures of Gilby builds and rides some of the most beautiful bikes I've ever seen. And it's always been that way. But you used to tell me how you used to go to Sturgis and you rode yeah. to Sturgis one time by yourself. By myself. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was strange because one year in the 80s, we're probably talking 88, 89, I decided, you know, we were always talking about it. I go, you know, I'm going to go. So I left, and I met my buddy who was riding from Portland in Sacramento, and my bike broke down. So my bike broke down, and I was like, oh, man, this is going to take, like, you know, a couple days. And then right as we are getting mine together, my buddy's bike broke down, and it was dead, dead. So we decided to call off the trip, and we go, you know what? Let's just go next year, and my bike's breaking. It's bad luck. Uh, 10 years later, <laughs> actually maybe even 20 years later, it took like a, a long time before I went. But yeah, I went by myself. I got just kind of got, you know, you, you get that itch. You go, you know, I'm just You don't have go. to tell me. I just got to go. <laughs> I know. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> so from there, we'd ride to Sturgis a couple times and yeah. I just kind of start going coast to coast and then one lap around America and then just yeah. doing some crazy rides. And yeah. We met um, you the one time when we had uh, you. It was your first Ricky's ride, I believe. And it was you. Tammy and uh, Kevin. Kevin. That wasn't Ricky's ride yet. That oh, was just a Mexa Murata. Oh, that's ride. exactly, exactly. Because I hadn't called it Ricky's ride because I was going with people. That was yeah. because that Ricky's ride was because nobody wanted to go spend that much that time much out time. on the no, road. None of us have that much Because you guys time. are all playing, <laughs> working, bands <laughs> working. And, and you know, I, it's hard enough getting that week to 10 days off for Sturgis. I right. mean, that is so hard. I mean, as we know, so many of our friends can't go because it takes 10 days, you know, but... You take months. <laughs> yeah, I take this time. The longest one I ever did was 11,400 miles, and that was two months and two wow, days. Yeah. This one will be a little bit over a month, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. But I also want to talk about what's going on with you because, you know, there's a lot of things that happen once in a while that hmm. we're, we're not kids anymore. You no. know, we still try to live <laughs> like we're it. kids, but we're getting old. And the only thing that has really made me feel old lately is your daughter. Oh. <laughs> because Frankie B is a rock star now. And I yes. see your pictures of her. And I mean, and, mm. and she just, I remember when she's a little kid. And yeah. I'm like, wait a minute. If she's like mm. older and playing music now, yeah. that means I'm really old. And playing but Lollapalooza. She, she's playing <laughs> Lollapalooza. <laughs> yeah. How did you, that is yeah. awesome. I'm I, so, I, I'm, I haven't seen them play yet. Yeah. But I'm very, very proud. And yeah. Daniela's here. Can we get the camera on Daniela? <laughs> Oh, do you not want the camera on you? It'd be nice to show something pretty on this show. Well, we're going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, a little bit later, I've got trivia questions to oh, yeah. give away. Have you heard? Of, I mean, I'm not telling anybody who's playing the Cat House 30th anniversary. Yeah, no, okay? it's a secret. But I think there's like one band that people think are playing that they're Fairly probably obvious. right. <laughs> and if there was ever, you know, it's me and Tammy and you're like the third guy. <laughs> yeah. So people who know that I will have Gilby help me with both nights. Yes. Have you heard what happened with the tickets? Uh, no, well, I know about the first, the, the first show, but I don't know about the second the show. The first show, the tickets mm -hmm. sold out in 11 minutes. Oh my God. That's the v and we're not telling anybody who's playing. The VIP passes sold out in 20 seconds. Wow. I put the VIP passes for the whiskey show up for sale mm -hmm. uh, this week, and they sold out in 23 seconds. Oh. And the whiskey tickets go on sale Saturday, and nobody knows. It broke all the records, wow. and nobody knows who's playing, including me. You know what? They trust you. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, this, this is what the problem with that show is. Uh -huh. um, I really feel like I can't let these people down. Like yeah. I need to do a show mm -hmm. where people's jaw drop. This is this is my mic drop. This is like yeah. this because we did the Cat House live show last year, and I got to be honest, it was great working with Live Nation. 
but that was not my show. Yeah, it, yeah. You know, when all of a sudden they're saying, no, you know, Extreme is going to go on last. Yeah. And, and it's, you had it's, input, it, but you didn't it, have it, But there were a lot yeah. of bands. That, hey, they're great bands, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. They weren't Cat House bands, exactly. you know. Yeah. And when Gilby's putting together an all-star jam, and he gets Ace Freely on stage, but because Extreme went long, they're turning things off <laughs> while he's up there with Ace Freely. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. So we're doing this one myself. Now, I'm giving away... A pair of tickets later, if you know the answer to these 13 questions, I, I bet you don't know the answers to all of them. Oh, we'll see. I bet you don't. <laughs> and uh, the questions are on cathousehollywood.com. And I'll ask you the questions a little mm. bit later. I'll give you a phone number a little later in the show because Billy Duffy's going to be calling in in a second. Oh, right on. So these are the questions. Um, and I gave these questions on the Internet probably mm. about two weeks ago so people could research. Mm. Question number one is what was the address of the cat house? And there's two possible answers. Yeah. Right. We, well, you don't want to answer them right now, right? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be fun. Number two, he worked for Ricky and the Cat House as a receptionist while working on his new band, Brown Cow, that quickly changed their name to, do you know who that is? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Who is the original Cat House DJ? You know that one. Yes, yes. Uh, question number five, they opened up for Allison Chains at the Cat House under the name Mookie Blaylock. Later, okay. they changed their name to, yep. you know that one. Question number six, what was the phone number Tammy found on the bathroom wall? Oh, that I don't know. Yes, you do. <laughs> It's yeah. in the song. Yeah, I, I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> when Blank played the Cat House, they went under the name Vic and the Rattleheads. Yeah, I don't remember that one either. Who puked opening night at the Cat House? I <laughs> got a pretty good you guess. Be, I bet you don't. I'll bet you <laughs> okay, don't. Right. I'll bet you don't. At first, it wasn't called Ricky Rackman's World Famous Cat House. The original name for 11 months was Blank and Blank. That's right. Blank, Blank Cat House. I remember that. Number 10, what famous TV sitcom Vixen worked coat check one night while her show was still on TV? I remember that. Okay. The perfect Halloween was when Blank played the Cat House. Mm -hmm. There was a huge section blocked off in front of the Cat House that was reserved for. Yep. And Blank played several times at the Cat House, including the final Cat House night on Highland and the 20th anniversary. Do you know who that is? Yes, I think I, I think I do. I, think I, don't, do. I don't know if I know for sure, well, but I got Well, I, I think, yeah. are you going to stick around for like another 40 minutes? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, then you know what they're going to do? Yeah. This is, if there's a question that somebody doesn't know, uh -huh. they can either ask for multiple choice or phone a Gilby. Oh, they, okay. And you might not know the answer to it. <laughs> okay. okay? So that's what we're going to do today. And uh, Tammy's going to be calling and we're going to be talking about the ride. Is Billy Duffy called in yet? Is he on the phone right now? Should we take a quick break and then we'll come back with Billy? Okay, we'll be back with uh, Ricky's Ride the Pre-Show right after this. Right after this. They're so great. Hi, I'm Bob Nelbandian, and be sure to watch my show, Inside Metal, which airs live every Tuesday from 3 to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here on T-Radio V. I'm going to be bringing in the greatest heavy metal artist live right here in the studio. Once again, every week at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, every Tuesday, right here at T-RadioV.com, Radio in TV. Welcome back to the pre-show. Ricky Rackman here. Joining me in the studio is Gilby Clark and Daniela, who doesn't want to be on camera. And we're getting to do a big ride. This is the ride that I'm going from Mexico to Canada, from California to New York. I want the people on Twitter to tell me places to go. Uh, I've got, like, from whale watching to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame to uh, Chicago Open Air Festival, big rock show. And I was going to do this whole thing by myself, except for Tammy was going to go from the Redwoods to Canada with me. But at the very last minute... Two really good friends pulled through that I'm so happy about. Not only is Gilby Clark going to be joining us, yep. but Billy Duffy, who also plays in the band The Cult, is on the phone with us right now. 
Correct, Billy? Are you there? Yeah, that is correct. Evening, gents. I'm I, Daniel. I have a question, Gilby. Have you ever done any long rides with Billy? No, no. Billy and I talk about it, but uh, we haven't done it yet, no. Bill, tell us about the bike. No. That, now, Bill, Billy, I remember when I bought my Ducati. I remember I went right. up to him and I said, and I, I said, I just did something wrong. And he was like, you have Ducati remorse. Because I bought a yeah. Ducati that this bike okay. was, I mean, how fast could those multistrad, the, the multistradas go? 150 maybe? I, I really, really way faster than I ever need to travel. <laughs> I just had that bike and it was just so fast and I couldn't stand up on it. Yeah. But you're a Ducati guy and a, you're like, how many motorcycles do you have now? Well, currently, actually, I just de- I went down from t- two to one. I got rid of both of my bikes. One was a Ducati and one was a Triumph, and I just got the new Triumph, the 1200 Triumph um, Bonneville, the new, the new one that came out this month or whatever, which I'm kind of, kind of getting to enjoy, a lot more power. But um, I'm I'm going to be riding a Ducati on this run. They're great for long runs. We're so but they're definitely not a short person's bike. That's a that's a fact. Show a picture of this bike. This is the bike that uh, Billy's going to be riding, and this is the Ducati. This is the this is the Multistrada, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it's just um, I mean, in 2010, I did a ride up the coast from LA to. Seattle, which Steve Jones and a couple of other guys sponsored by Ducati, and we took the reimagined 2010 Multistradas, and we played little acoustic gigs at the dealerships up the coast. They made a little video of it, and the guy who, who was running um, Ducati at the time is now the big boss, Jason Chinnick, and um, we filmed the thing, and it was such a lot of fun, and I kind of fell in love with the bike. And, you know, I've never had a, a bike like that, a high-tech bike, but I, I guess it's a bit of a grown-up uh, sort of gentleman's ride that you could easily kill yourself on. That's, and that's the that's kind of bikes that we don't get at. Now, have you ever been a Harley guy at all? Yeah, yeah, I had, to, I had a few. I had a few. I, I see, the way, I'm coming from an English perspective, right? So when, when I was a kid, my perfect motorbike, I always thought was a Harley Sportster, but since I moved to America and then ended up living here, I realized that it's not really a guy's bike. Maybe these days, young guys, a lot of hipster guys seem to ride little sportsters and whatnot. Yeah, they're a little hip right um, now. You know, but in, back in the day, in, in our kind of era that you've been referring to, you couldn't absolutely not be seen on a sportster. That was just not um, the thing to do. So... I, as much as I liked them, um, I, ne- I never could, never got one. So I ended up with a couple of big Harleys, a soft tail and whatnot. I, I've never been one for the ones with all brightly coloured and all, all the kind of like Easter egg colours yeah. on them. No, I, I like my stuff pretty plain and simple. Yeah. Um, Did you ever like I those love Harleys uh, egg- and I love the riding position on them. Um, I'm, I'm kind of a fan. I'm not as big a fan of the engine as some people, but... I think around town, you know, it's it's an open road bike for me. We could debate this for many hours and bore I don't want to get into the technical stuff because the yeah. one thing that Gilby knows is Gilby's ridden me for decades. I don't know how to do a thing. <laughs> I really don't know. I've ridden further than almost anybody I know, and I yeah. don't know how to do a thing. I want to change the subject a little right. bit. Let's just talk about the cult because you've got some shows coming up, right? Well, yeah, yeah, we do. We're playing. We, we had an album out earlier this year, and, you know, it, it's gone pretty well for us. So we've been out playing and uh, continue. We'll be on and off all year playing some gigs, um, you know, some gigs with bands that are related to the Cat House and Gilby. And we're doing a bunch of stuff. I mean, we're just sort of open for business and just I'm kind of just thrilled that people still enjoy our music and, you know, that me and Ian, after 30 years, can still, you know, kind of get together and, and find enough common ground to write an album that gets, like, four stars in Mojo. And not that really I ever did it to get reviews, but once in a while it's nice to get a good one, you know. And uh, I, I saw you guys it's, it's played... A fun uh... year. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the band, and um, we're having a good time at the moment, you know. So uh, I'm happy for that. No complaints. I saw you guys played at the Sarasota Winery uh, recently. Yeah. Was that place, is yeah. that place great or what? It's the best. Yeah. 
It's what a great venue that is. It's like I recommend that for yeah. anyone. I highly recommend that as a place to go. And funnily enough, I actually went motorbike riding the next day yeah. from that. I did a couple of days. It's up in um, Northern California, and it's a winery, and it's the most beautiful background like you'll ever see in your life. And it, it's not like an amphitheater. It's actually kind of like out by outdoors kind of, uh, I, I guess, by like the, the factory or something. But it's all like a, a brick and uh, it looks very, very old. It's really cool. Real quick, let's... Yeah, it's a great, great venue. And they do, like, they have a whole season for about five months of yeah. gigs, all pretty much across the board. They're probably not any heavy metal, but literally, you know, Duran Duran, The Call, um, Butch Trucks, you know. I mean, it's it kind of a diverse thing. Yeah. And it's literally breathtaking. Yeah, See, it's not it's massive. It was about 3,000. But it's just a breathtaking, like a, like a Tuscan amphitheater. It's exactly. unbelievable, really. Yeah. Yeah. Real quick, let's change the subject again. Let's yeah. talk about what we're doing, because I'm going to ride to Mexico for lunch. Yeah. Then I'm, cause I ha- because I made the patch that said Mexa Morada, so now I have to go to Mexico. <laughs> but then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to get to ride with both of you guys, and we're going to go up the California coast. Yeah. And I know I've never done that ride with you, Gilby. Up the California, I've yeah, only done we've, that always, we've always gone the other way. But yeah. we're going to big. And tell me where we're going, because you, we don't need to say the hotel that we're going to be mm. at. But the area you're familiar, both of you guys are pretty familiar. This is some beautiful areas, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. Billy, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of stunning. I mean, it's ironic. I was there like two less than two weeks ago. It's just breathtaking. And being, I'm, I mean, one of the things is I admire about you guys is that you actually kind of uh, not walk the walk, but you ride the ride. And I live in California, and I've lived there for a long time, and I really don't get out to enjoy as much of it as I should. Um, so it's kind of was somewhat inspirational to be able to do that and get out there. But, yeah, it's kind of stunning, you know. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, a, an incredible place, and we're so lucky to be able to enjoy it. And, uh, you know, I mean, it, it, yeah, there's a ton of good stuff. Ton, tons of good stuff. Too much, really. We're going to have a really... Take in. We're going to be posting pictures. It'll be on the website yeah. and everything like that. Thank you for calling in, and I haven't seen you for a while, so it'll be very good to see you uh, in, a, in a couple days. Thank you for calling in, Billy. Yeah, yeah, totally good. Great, guys. Take care, Billy. See ya. Uh, we're going to take a break right now. When we come back, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... When we come back, we're going to talk to Tammy. And I have like a little video montage of some of the weird things that we've done on the ride. So we're going to come back and we're going to talk to Tammy. And then I'm going to be giving the phone number to give the Cat House tickets away. And we got a pre-ride show. And I'm getting so stoked about this ride right now. So let's take another quick break and come back with more of the pre-ride show on T-Radio V. This is Madeline Reese, the LA Street Angel, and I have my talk show here in the middle of Hollywood. So come hang out with me, learn some awesome new cool spiritual stuff. And it's every Thursday, 1 o'clock Pacific Time, tradiov.com. LA Street Angel, call to heal these streets. Hi kids, Billy Francesca here for my brand new show at T Radio V, Advice from an Idiot, every Thursday from 7 to 8 p.m. Pacific Time. So please call in and get some advice from someone who knows absolutely nothing about everything. I'm Laura Somoza. I'm Sterling Gardner. And we are Between the Sheets every Monday here, 3 p.m., tradiov.com. T Radio V. That's right. It's T Radio V. Radio in T V. <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> she wants to see our hands. That's Radio in T V. We're not a couple. <laughs> I'm here. What did you think about your first NASCAR race? It was really fucking fun. Why do you have to swear every time I put like an answer? Always, always, you I always have like fun. About it. it was a lot of fun. You can edit it. But it, you had a good time? You can fucking edit it. You had a good time? Uh, awesome. All right. Tame me down, Bristol Motor Speedway.
riding through the hills of Tennessee. I'm not really sure what hills they are, but they are beautiful. Would you say that this is the most beautiful state you've ever ridden in? Yep. Ever? You've ridden in a lot of states. Yes, by far. I would say that Tennessee is the most beautiful state we have ever ridden in. Good morning from uh, Winchester, Tennessee. It's really camping because we are drinking coffee from these. Show yours, Tammy. And Tammy espresso. made espresso from this thing, and it was awesome. So, good morning. I just, like, later I just hang out for like a half hour. So, what's inside? Just, you know, just a bed and I think a little bathroom. There's like a city, every state has the same cities. Oh, that's filming it. Oops. Ooh. Well, that's a video. Good job. Today, Tammy and I decided we wanted to go for a little lunch ride. So, where did we go ride to tonight? Today, Tammy. DJ. We're in Mexico. How's your food? Good. In Wichita Falls, Texas, just ate at the Branding Iron. Definitely feeling it today, right? We're moving slower today. Yeah. Plus, I'm, it's hot. Plus, I'm fucking hungover. <laughs> That's I just put that together a minute. Anyways, but. Two of my closest friends. I've got Gilby Clark here, and joining us on the phone right now, we have Tammy Down. How are you, Tammy? What's up, Bubba? <laughs> you know, me and Gilby have been riding a long time together, and I don't think if anybody ever told us 15 years ago that Tammy would be riding with us and really be into riding. I mean, i got to be honest with you. I thought my 11,400 miles, I think Tammy did a ride that might have even been longer than mine. Yeah, what did you do, Tammy? I did 12,000 over 500. Ah, Dick, I hate that. <laughs> but this is right. I'm, the, the bummer of this ride is that, um, A, I get to ride with you guys. Mm -hmm. Most of it I'm doing by myself, but I get to ride with you guys, but never together unless you want to yeah. hang out. So yeah. the, this is the way it's starting. I'm going to Mexico. Yep. Then we're riding up the coast to Big Sur with you and Billy Duffy. Yep. Then I'm going to ride up to the Redwoods mm -hmm. and meet Tammy. Oh, right on. We're, tell, Tammy, tell us some of the stuff that we're going to be doing when we ride together. We're gonna we're gonna ride up the coast again like we did, but we're gonna go up and stay with Sean up in uh, up in between Astoria and Seaside. It's a really cool little town right on the ocean. So for the Fourth of July, so and then and then up across the uh, Astoria Bridge, which should be scary, and then then up to my mom's over the Olympic Mountains around, well, kind of around them, and then we're. Then, Ricky, you take it from there because you more, know more. We're going to, uh, one thing that people know to the point of nauseam is that I'm a huge activist with, uh, with the orcas in captivity and dolphins as well. And every year I've taken the ferry across from, from Anacortes, Washington to uh, San Juan Islands, and I've gone there and just watched orcas, and I go oh, on wow. killer whale watching boats. It's which really is, pretty. It's the greatest thing in the, in the world. But there's this stuff. place, there's this place that I go and sit down called Lime Kiln State Park, and I just sit on this rock, and I just sit there and wait for orcas to swim by, and sometimes it takes a while. I don't know how long Tammy's going to want to sit on the rock with me, <laughs> but to go, to go whale watching I'll with Tammy. at the bar, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm kind of figuring. But it doesn't matter, because we're only going to be in, in San Juan for like a day, and then mm -hmm. we're going to go to Vancouver, Canada, mm -hmm. and we're going to go whitewater rafting, right? Oh, my God, that's crazy. Have you ever been whitewater? We're gonna, we're gonna, Ricky, we're going to do the glamping. Glamping. I think we're going to do glamping. We're yeah. going to find one of those nice camping nice things. <laughs> I've never heard of it. I had to look it up. What, glamping? What the hell is glamping? <laughs> well, here, here, I'll I'll this, is, this is what I learned. For me and Tammy went... It looks pretty good. It looks yeah. really good, but I'll tell you this. Me and Tammy went camping one time. I know you you and Tammy have been camping yeah, yeah. a couple times on the ride. Me and Tammy went camping one time in Tennessee. It was beautiful. It's the greatest place, mm -hmm. camping. So on the next ride, I brought my sleeping bag, my tent. Have you guys ever been camping by yourself? Have I ever been camping? You don't camp by yourself. you got to be able to camp with someone you can run faster than. Okay. <laughs> there, is no <laughs> there is nothing worse than camping by yourself on the planet because once you set up your tent, there's nothing to do. You just yeah, sit there. So, so I, I stayed in like up in like Pismo, camped by myself, 
And then I just shipped the sleeping bag in the tent back, and I just stayed in <laughs> hotels the hotels. rest of the trip. I couldn't do that. Oh, there's no way I can't by myself. No, it wasn't fun. Uh, what's up with – I know you're up in <laughs> Seattle, and you're, and you're seeing your family because Seattle is, is where you're from. And I don't know um, – Congratulations on the Cleveland Cavaliers, Gilby. Thank you very much. Gilby's Thank Cleveland. you very much. And know, congratulations to me brother. for the Carolina Panthers beating the Seattle Seahawks this year. Hey. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> it won't last long, right? Tell me what fa- – I know Faster Pussycat's been playing a lot of shows, and a lot of people are going to shows. What else is up with uh, of you? You're, you've got some shows after the ride, right? Yeah, we gotta, we're got we going to go out for another, like, seven weeks. Uh Starting in August, but we got a couple. Uh, we got to fly out to Minnesota like the 29th of July, and then now it looks like I'm going out to do a couple songs with Rob Halford, Piercy, and Mark Slaughter at some thing in, in South Dakota. It's not Sturgis, but it's some party, and we're going up and doing two of our songs with some. Oh, that, that sounds great! One band that was at Sturgis, uh, Gilby. They were there at the. Uh, Glenn Cub, uh, what was it called? Hair, hairball. Oh, hair, hairball. Oh, those guys are awesome. Hairball. So listen yeah, to this. Yeah, they're good, and we're all doing two songs each. Oh, that's, that's gonna be cool. fun. Those guys draw big time out there. Big time. So Crazy. T- Tammy gets told that he gets to sing with Rob Halford, Stephen Piercy, and Mark Slaughter. I mean, think about it. You must have woken up and said, "How did I ever get so lucky that I get to sing with Mark Slaughter?" <laughs> he's, he's a really nice guy. So, <laughs> okay, um, but Rob Halford, yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty badass. badass. Know, that's, that's awesome. Great. That's really great. I'm, I, it makes me feel good to see both of you guys getting <laughs> good gigs, you know. And uh, and I just always try to glom on your success, like I've been doing for about <laughs> three decades. And uh, you're and stealing it, shit out of my closet. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it, did you know it's true? Because Tammy, I don't. Tammy always had the cool clothes. Yeah. And I, so I, so he got, he got gigs. They were opening up for Guns N' Roses and opening up for everybody. So I just still would take his clothes. We were roommates in Hollywood. And uh, it's fast. It's the Cat House's 30th anniversary. And it's Faster Pussycat's 30th anniversary. Oh, wow. That's right. They're doing the Dirty 30 right now. They are. Yeah. So I can't call it the Dirty 30 for the Cat House. Why are you thing, right but... up here, Gilby? I uh, know. Th- you know, I got a gig on the 13th. I got to be back. Oh, you topsy turvy world of I rock know. and roll. <laughs> well, Tammy, I miss you, and I really look forward to seeing you in a couple days, brother. Cool, brother. Have fun the rest of the night, and I'll see you, I'll see you in Northern Cal. Yes. Yeah, take care, Tammy. That's going to be good. you want to get back, Gilby. You got it. Yeah, the other yeah. things that, that I've got going on, um, after Vancouver, I'm going to be riding by myself. I'm going to be riding by myself. I'm going to be going all throughout America. Um, Tiny, I'm going to want you to find – can you go on Twitter and see if we can find any videos? Um, I think i got, like, more viewers on my phone than um, – Twenty lives. He just has to come in here and just say something, some dick thing every so often. <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> but um, uh, he's going to find us some some Twitter videos. I know people are suggesting the the joy of telling Ricky where to go. I'm going to ride. I know I'm going to go through. Uh, I found a great road. I told you you need to go to Banff if you're going to go uh, if you're going to go across Canada and Vancouver. You got to go to Banff. It's really even during the summer. It's beautiful. One of the best things that I do is. I, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you, people. Mm-hmm. In North Carolina, I love it there. I'm not gonna move back, I don't think. Mm-hmm. But what I've done is, I got a guitar mm-hmm. and a bass, and there's this video game called Rocksmith. Oh yeah, I've heard so of I've that. I've been playing yeah. it all the time, and I love playing guitar. And I got a personal trainer, and I've been getting into shape, and mm-hmm. you know, eating right. And then the second I moved to California, I had this thing. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna work out three days a week, and I'm gonna eat Where right. Where do you find the videos? What on Twitter? On your Twitter page? On my Twitter. Okay. Yeah, you just come in when we're on camera anytime. <laughs> <you're not tiny. laughs> but um, so I said I'm going to work out, you know, three days a week when I get out here. Yeah. I just blew it all day yeah. already. <laughs> I, par- I packed shakes. I packed vitamins. I packed shoes. <laughs> I've, been, I've been eating at every crappy place in Hollywood. Yeah. And, and we also should say hello to our friend Keith because Keith and Allison are Keith getting, and getting married. Getting married. We're going to get to That's right. His first marriage and he's old. I know. Isn't it amazing? I can, bo- for both of them. Well, you know what both. you two are? Mm-hmm. You and Daniela. <laughs> <laughs> are you two are the people that everybody says these things can last? Because how long, yep. how long have you been married? How long have we been married, Daniela? Uh, Twenty five years. Twenty five years. They've been married. Years. I snuck Daniela into the cast when she was under eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> There's a statute. You were sixteen. <laughs> There's a statute of limitations. I can't get in trouble for that now, right? Yeah, no, it's all it's all over. So uh, <laughs> I know I'm going to be stopping in a lot of places. Some people sent some Twitter messages. I'm going to be doing the. I'm going to be DJing the Chicago Open Air Festival, and I, I want oh, to tell great. everybody um, something that's really, really cool. 
is every year I ask people to donate money. Mm -hmm. I pick a charity. We got 10000 for St. Jude's. This year, I found something called the Chelsea Hutchinson Foundation. And what mm -hmm. they do is they help supply monitoring devices for people with epilepsy, and they get grants. Do you know that people that have epilepsy, there's dogs that can tell when they're going to have a seizure. Oh, wow. And they can get the medication for them. And there's something called... No, I didn't there's, know there's that. That's incredible. Called, there's something called SUDEP that I don't remember exactly what it stands for, but people that have epileptic seizures at night can mm -hmm. die in their sleep. Yeah, yeah. One in yeah. 25 people have epilepsy. So yeah. it's the Chelsea Hutchinson Foundation. Obviously, I find charities that take all the money and give it to the charity. Yeah, I don't yeah. take a penny. Yeah. So if you go to rickysride.com and click on CHF, we're going to start asking you to help us with that because we don't ask you for GoFundMe accounts to do these yeah. rides or anything <laughs> like this. We ride because we love it, and we really dig that um, people are joining it. I'm going to be going up to New York. I'm going to be going to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway to watch our friend Brendan Gone race. That's going to be awesome. And, uh, oh, and Justin Allgaier and all the other friends in the Xfinity Series. I'm going to go to a dirt race at Eldora. I'm going to eat where if you were good one place in America to find the best something what would you where would you go get something to eat get oh, something to eat well I know the best cupcakes are in Austin <laughs> Texas I mean uh, for me for food New Orleans I know it's not on your route but New Orleans is the best place to eat last year went to New Orleans yeah. and I did like New Orleans yeah. this year so for you people um, we're going to give the phone number after this do we have to take another quick break we're going to give the phone number after the break I'll tell you what why don't we give the phone number out now? I'll read the questions. If you know the answers to pretty much all of these questions, maybe it was a stupid idea making 30, 13 of them. <laughs> but if you know them and you get to ask, if you don't know one, you can either phone a Gilby or get a multiple choice. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm going to let you do. And Gilby doesn't know the answers to some of no, them. No, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Hold on. I'm trying to find my passcode to read the questions. I forgot my thing. Hold on. Talk amongst yourself for just a second, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. I really Is it on your... Uh, yeah, it's on cathousehollywood.com. Okay. And here are the questions, okay? I'm going to give the questions, and then we'll give the phone number, okay? I'll tell you what. Tell me what the phone number is right now. Let's give the phone number out right now, and you call if you know. The phone number is 855-878-4652. 855-878-4652. We're going to take a break, but if you know the answers to these 13 questions... Here are the questions, and if we can show them again. The first is, what was the address of the cat house? There's two possible answers. Number two, he worked for Ricky in the cat house as a receptionist while working on his new band, Brown Cow, that quickly changed their name to blank. Do you know that one, Daniela? I don't. Oh. Number three, who was the original cat house DJ? Number four, Guns N' Roses shot the video for what song at cat house? Number five, they opened up for Alice in Chains at the cat house under the name Mookie Blaylock. Later, they changed their name to blank. What was the phone number Tammy found on the bathroom wall? When blank played Cat House, they went under the name Vic and the Rattleheads. Number eight, who puked opening night at the Cat House? You can't, I, you don't even know this one. This is very interesting. At first, it wasn't called Ricky Rackman's World Famous Cat House. The original name was blank and blank, blank, blank Cat House. Dude, I asked too many questions. <laughs> I don't know. Number 10, what famous TV sitcom Vixen worked co check one night while her show was still on TV? <laughs> The perfect Halloween was when Blank played the cat house, and there was a huge section blocked off in front of the cat house that was reserved for Blank. And number 13, Blank played several times at the cat house, including the final cat house night in Highland and the 20th anniversary. You can either name the band or the singer. Slash bass player. That's a good hint, right? You know, I, you I'm know? wrong. I'm wrong. Oh. I thought it was somebody else. Who did you else? think it was? Tell me who you thought it was. I thought it was Junkyard. Junkyard? Yeah, I did. No, it wasn't Junkyard. Yeah. Now do you know who it is if I gave you that hint? Uh, it's a bass player. Okay, never mind. You just think about it. That, I, we're giving you the number again. Ha, do you have, has anybody even called up that they think they... Okay, if it's busy, just still keep calling because we don't have a lot of phone lines here. Okay, so uh, should we take a break or can we just go to the calls right now? Do we need to take a break? Screw break. I'll take this break to thank my sponsors, okay? We're going to take the calls, but first I want to thank a couple people. Hot Leathers. Hot Leathers makes really good leather jackets, good vest. vests, and if you go to hotleathers.com and you put Ride 16 in, you'll get 25% off. Really? Yes. That's a great deal. They have great leather vests and t-shirts of all the bike rallies, and if you go to a bike rally, visit Hot Leathers. Law Tigers are motorcycle attorneys. We hope that you never, ever get in an accident. Some people never get in accidents. Some people have a lot of bad luck sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um and uh, one was just a just a <laughs> one was a bad worst one. the worst deal in the in the world. 
but they're biker attorneys that represent people that go down and you know first call a hospital and i hope i hope to god you never call law tigers but if you do get in an accident um please call law tigers the other one is death wish coffee which i can't talk enough about um <laughs> they're the best coffee i've been drinking it for years and i'm glad you and zach wild right? right yeah zach me and zach are big death wish coffee yeah. fans and uh, if you go to deathwishcoffee.com you put in ride 16 you can get a big discount on that. And I want to thank Biltwell Helmets. Biltwell. We love Biltwell. And, uh, we supported them before, from the beginning. Yes, and I met them through you as well. And I, I want to talk about, I'm going to give a shout-out to my friends. That Are you going to be able to go to Born Free at all? I'm going Sunday, yeah. Well, we're, we, we have something to do this know, weekend, we don't wedding. we? <laughs> let's, let's go to the calls right now. And, um, and if you know the answer, you're going to get two tickets to the cat house. So hopefully it's somebody that I don't know. What is your name? Hello. This is Scott. Hey, Scott, what's, what city are you calling from? I'm calling from uh, just outside of San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas. So if you win these Cat House tickets, would you fly to Hollywood to go to the show? Absolutely. Right so on. you know what's so great? When we put the first tickets up for sale, a lot of them weren't from America. Really? Yeah, there's so many people from out of the state yeah, that want yeah. to go. So I want Scott. So, Scott, do you think you know the answers to all of these questions that I'm going to ask you? I do. I think I know them all. Okay, let's Come see. On. Number one, what was the address of the cat house? There's two possible answers. Go, Scott, from San Antonio, Texas. 836 North Highland. Good Avenue. job. That is correct, Scott, from San Antonio, Texas. Good job. Number two, he worked for Ricky and the Cat House as a receptionist while working on his new band, Brown Cow, that <laughs> quickly changed their name to what was the name of their band? Blind Melon. Good job. That is true. Shannon Hoon yeah. was my receptionist at the cat house. Yeah, and and you know this, Gilby. For people that think that Shannon was just this hippity dippity like lovely guy, uh, yeah. he was. I love Shannon, He's but he was crazy. Yeah, he was a practical joke. Shannon would probably get in more fights than anybody yeah. at the cat house. <laughs> but he used to come into the office as a reception. He goes, I got this new band mm-hmm. called Brown Cow. And I'm like, dude, that's a really stupid name. And then he came in the next week and he says, I'm changing the name to Blind Melon. I go, dude, that's Go worse back than to Brown, Brown Cow. cow. <laughs> <laughs> <It's true. laughs> Number three, I don't know if Scott from San Antonio, Texas is going to know this one. Mm-hmm. Who was the original cat house DJ? Joseph Brooks. Good job, man. He's got that answer, too. I got a lot of faith in him. I do, too. I think he's going to do it. Number four, Guns N' Roses shot the video for what song at the Cat House? It's So Easy. Correct, again. They opened up for Alice in Chains at the Cat House under the name Mookie Blaylock. Later, they changed their name to... Pearl Jam. Right on. That is correct. Did you... you, Were you there that night? Uh... I, I don't remember. I was there that night, yes, because I remember Allison Chains, but I don't remember Pearl Jam. Or he was but, yeah. Eddie Vedder was like running around. He had like a stick. He was like knocking the speakers down, climbing yeah. all over the place. I just We're don't like, remember. You know, well, that's one of the ones I know. I really? Know. But really? I do remember yeah. Allison Chains. I don't though. remember yeah. anything. Well, the first time Allison Chains played the Cat House, um, one of the guys got dope sick and he had to cancel the show. And I had to walk out on stage and say, "Sorry, they're not going to play." And that's when the guys from Suicidal Tendencies, not only the band but the gang, used to hang out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And he I stood remember. up. It's okay, Ricky. And everybody's like, "Oh yeah, it's okay." So <laughs> then I had him play again and charge two bucks. What was the phone number Tammy found on the bathroom wall? It's two eight one seven six six eight. Yes. Uh, you don't know why I, I, that I, was yeah, one? I don't know. You ever heard of the band Faster Pussy? Tammy's in a band, you know. Yeah, he, really? Yeah, Faster Pussy Cat. <laughs> when, blank, when Blank played Cat House, they went under the name Vic and the Rattleheads. Megadeth. Megadeth is the correct uh, answer. That's great. I didn't know that one. Okay, this one you don't know. And let me ask you this, Scott, while we finish up the rest of the questions and all the other people that are on hold are really, really pissed off. But I'll tell you what. I'll give another pair of tickets away, and I'll let Gilby think of a question. We'll give it. So after Scott wins, we'll give another pair. But have you ever been to the Cat House in the old days? I had never been. So did you search on the Internet for a lot of these? Uh, I did, yeah. Okay, that's okay. Hey, it's working, right, Scott. Hey, right. Number eight. It's legal. Hu- who puked opening night at the Cat House? Lita Ford. That's true. Wow. Did you know I, that? I, no, I didn't. I thought it was Izzy. No, no. <laughs> it was opening night. Gene Kirkland, the photographer, bought Lita Ford into the cat house. And I was so happy that it was there. So I just kept giving them as many drink tickets as I can because there weren't very many people there. Yeah. And she puked. She was so drunk, she puked in. And I remember Keith Cooper, who's our friend, we're going to the wedding. Keith Cooper said, I'm sorry the cat house didn't turn out like you wanted. And I, like, I was like, dude, Lita Ford puked at the cat house. We're doing all and right. And he's like, yeah, but there weren't very many people. And I'm like, Lita Ford puked at the cat house. And I yeah, thought that was, if it wasn't for Lita Ford. There puking, will be. 
This is a kind of easy one, I think. At first, it wasn't called Ricky Rackman's World Famous Cat House. The original name for 11 months was Blank and Blank, Blank, Blank Cat House. Ricky and Tammy's there you go. World Famous Cat House. That is true again. What famous TV sitcom Bixen worked co check one night <laughs> while her show was still on TV? Christina Applegate. Yeah, that yeah. is true. That was a, You guys knew that. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to hear? Here, I'm going to. Because she did start. the Electric Angels video. Well, here's an here's here's interesting ish story. And I think this is how it went down, or somebody's going to be pissed off at me. I took Christina to the Rolling Stones concert mm-hmm. when Guns N' Roses opened for mm-hmm. her. Me and Christina were friends. We were nothing but friends. I mean, we never hugged. We were just friends. We hung out. So we went to the concert together. Yeah. And from what I, from what I was told, <laughs> Aaron Everly said to Christina, what's up with you and Ricky? Mm-hmm. And she said nothing. And she said, yeah, Ricky says you guys are just taking it slow right now, which was nothing like that. Wow. And that ruined our friendship, which I never <laughs> said anything like that. That was a story I heard. Scott yeah. doesn't care. Yeah. He wants to get to the questions. <laughs> so we were never friends after that. But I never... But we do know a rock star that hooked up with her, right? Yeah, we, we don't. Do. But we don't want to talk about that on the show, right? Because she's nice. <laughs> okay. Um, number 11. The perfect Halloween was when Blank played the cat house. Alice Cooper. Right on. One of my highlights of the yeah. club because when I was a kid, I went to Alice Cooper's dress rehearsal, and I got bad grades, and my dad didn't let me go see him in concert. No. So he played the cat house on Halloween. And just so you know, he was thinking about playing the cat house this time, but they got booked. Ah. And one of our other oldest, oldest friends, Ryan Rock, sees their yeah, guitar. Yeah. And I saw them play in Carolina, and they were great. Oh, they're always they're great. great. And I love always, seeing Ryan up there. Always great, yeah. Um, okay, after this, there's only two questions left. There was a huge section blocked off in front of the cat house that was reserved <laughs> for? Before the p- park the motorcycle. Right on. Very good, very good. Specifically, it was more Harleys because I yeah. was an elitist then. <laughs> you know, now it's like I like Honda 750s and I like Ducatis and Triumphs. And the last question is, and you don't, do you know this one now that you thought about it? No. The no. question is, this band played, this band or singer played several times at the Cat House, including the final Cat House night on Highland and the 20th anniversary. Here's the big question. Do you know who it is? Scott. I know who it is. Who is it? Yeah. It's Lemmy. That's true. Motorhead. God. Motorhead played the. A oh, matter of fact, you, Gilly, give me a you were on stage. Too. I told I him he's a bass player. You were on stage <laughs> with Lemmy, but a I lot was. of people yeah. don't know yeah. that 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 the, when I closed the cat house, it wasn't doing good. Yeah. That Motorhead yeah. stepped up. I tried yeah. to open it again at sunset. Motorhead played again. Yeah. Um, I talked to Todd Singerman, um, Motorhead's manager, right after Lemmy passed away. Do you know Lemmy was and Todd were the only ones that would wish me happy birthday every single birthday. Really, and they would send me stuff and Lemmy. And Todd told me, Lemmy said so many nice things about me yeah. that it like really made me feel good because I love Motorhead. Since yeah. I was a punker, I love Motorhead. Yeah. Hey, Scott, guess what? What's that? Dude, you're going to the Cat House 30th <laughs> anniversary. Yeah, you are. All right, man. I'm sorry. Great job you get on to that, pay man. For your own air, you, get to, you get to pay for your own airfare. You get to pay for your own <laughs> hotel. You get to pay for <laughs> rent. <Valley> parking. <laughs> you get to pay for parking. I'll even tell you, you get to pay for your own drinks. But if you see me, I'll give you a big, hearty handshake. And you get to go to the cat. Uh, I'll tell you what. Should I give him the choice between the Whiskey and Roxy? I, man, You'd be that a was a pretty good said, job, no. yeah. Oh, should I just, yeah, of course, hey, do you choice, care? Do you care? The, the Roxy's already sold out. The whiskey will be sold out. Tickets go on sale Saturday at 10 a.m. Would you rather go to the whiskey or the Roxy? Uh, I know what you Roxy. should say. You should my say. Maybe I can still buy tickets for the whiskey. Damn, Scott is such a smart guy. Because you could go to the Roxy. <laughs> There's a lot of people that bought tickets that are good, try to go to yeah. go. So, yeah, so of can, can you get his, uh, all his information? Can we stay on a little bit longer? And maybe we'll. Can, can, is there a way to put him on hold? Get all his information. And thank you very much for helping me out, Tiny. I appreciate that. With all he cares about is his cell phone. Are you on Periscope <laughs> right now, Tiny? <laughs> Facebook Live? I don't have Facebook Live. Okay. Can we put him on hold? Don't, don't hang up on him. Now, if we put him on hold, do we have another open phone line? Is there somebody there? We have a caller already. Um, that, that was, that was that amazing. Was one for one, man. That, that was, was incredible. Good. That yeah, was good. Very and good. first of all, I want to remind everybody. I have a website. It's rickysride.com. Uh, me and Gilby and Billy Duffy will be on one part of it. Then me and Tammy will be on a long part of it. And then I'm going to spend probably almost a month on the road. I haven't even told you all the places. 
Follow me on Twitter at Ricky Rackman or Instagram at Ricky Rackman. Gilby Clark, your social media is? Uh, GilbyClark.com. Oh, is that your Instagram? Are you going to be posting videos and photos? Oh, no, on, on Instagram. What is my Instagram? Gil- Gilby, GTR. Gilby GTR. Guitar, GTR. Yeah, GTR. Gilby GTR. Did, did it ever drive you guys nuts that I would always take pictures and videos? I, I remember you were always hip to the Instagram and all that before us, and yeah, it was annoying at the time. <laughs> then, he started and got hey, then we started having fun with it. We're going, hey, Ricky's pictures are really good. But the best thing was the wives back at home could follow that's, the trip. And I said because that. Of Ricky. That was what the best <laughs> yeah. thing is because I have live tracking. And when we're riding, girls, we can't always get to the phones. Yeah. So, and, but, but then <laughs> or know say, where they are. Or know where they are. <laughs> but I have the live tracking and I have the, fo- and the Twitter. So yeah. if you want to know where we are, you, know, you just go to the Twitter and you can say, there we are. <laughs> and I have these Ricky's Ride patches that I wish I brought some with me that Hot yeah. Leathers gave me. And if we do plan another ride, I will do a ride without my name on it. Yeah. If we do plan a big <laughs> ride. do a ride. I always want to I'm do a big ride. I'm always up for Gilby, a ride. Because you've always got, you know, jobs. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, have you thought of a trivia question? We'll give away another pair oh, of Oh, I haven't. Tickets. I haven't. Let me th- uh, uh, Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'll okay. Sure. Have we played all the videos that I showed? Did I show the – What? let's play that one video. What's, which video is it? Just all the random places I stopped I, at. I, I have, I have, okay, I have, we're going to play one. a video, then we're going to come back and take a caller, and Gilby's got a trivia question. Yep. We'll give away another pair. So let's just play that random video right now. I've been on this road for okay, that was just going to be talking. That was when we camped in Tennessee. Favorite state you've ever ridden in, Gilby Clark? Favorite state I've ever ridden in. Um, let me see. You know, I, uh, New Mexico. New Mexico? Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. New like, uh, um, uh, we did it. We did it. Me, you, and Grant one time. We did? Yeah, when we went to, remember I played a show. Uh, I do, at time, an yeah. Indian reservation. Exactly. I do yeah. remember that. A dry Indian now, reservation. Have you ridden coast to coast yet? No, I haven't. Because no, you, no, no. mm-hmm. you know what sucks mm-hmm. more than anything? Mm-hmm. Texas. Yeah, yeah. Cause Lubbock, yeah, Texas yeah. is the worst place. I've driven Lubbock, through Texas. Lubbock, Texas is the yeah. worst place in the world. I mean, I love Austin. I have a good time in Dallas. Yeah. I just don't like riding through it. But you haven't ridden in the Carolinas. No, I haven't. You no. haven't ridden. No. Okay, I'm going to just put this out there right yeah. now, okay? This will be my seventh time coast to coast. Wow. Okay? Mm-hmm. Can we plan a big ride? We'll come up with a cool name, get a bunch of us together, and ride in Europe and rent bikes. Well, we almost did it this year, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. I just thought that would be an idea. Uh, yeah, so I'm up for that. <laughs> have, you, have you guys, Danielle's here. She doesn't want to be on camera for some reason. Uh, yeah. It would be nice to have something pretty on the show. But um, Yeah, no, we're definitely up for that. And we know uh, some great rides uh, in Europe. That would be so cool. Yeah. I mean, I've ridden everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And everywhere. there's some great places, yeah. Last year, I remember that me and Tammy were going to do uh, – going to go to Florida, and we and the whole big thing is, dude, I want to ride. I can't do a Tammy imitation. <laughs> I fucking want to go to fucking Key West. <laughs> and I was like, Key West? I hate Florida. Yeah. I don't hate Florida. Yeah. But I said, okay, I want to go to Key West. So we get to Florida, and it's like, Hurricane Erica. And he's like, I'm uh, not yeah, going to go ride yeah. in the rain. I'm not going to ride. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go. And I went by myself, and it was blue skies the whole time. Yeah. But um, he... That's pretty bad. I, I, I like I Key learned West, a, I learned a, The three of us, meaning Gilby, Tammy, and myself... We have three different personalities, and I know that I can be a real prick, but I learned a lot about myself from Tammy, and mm-hmm. this is what I learned. I'm, I think negatively a lot, mm-hmm. and we were riding somewhere, and he's like, well, we're going to just stay at my buddy's house. Mm-hmm. So I'm already thinking I'm looking for hotels in Houston. I'm yeah. like, I'm, this is going to be some gross thing, and he's like, go oh, just stay at my buddy's house, and we get up there, and they have like this barbecue in this beautiful house in Texas, yeah. and then he's like, I got this little hotel, because you know, I spend a little bit more on hotels, yeah. and he's like... I got this little hotel on Route 66 called like the Blue Swallow Inn or something like that, and I'm like, yeah, yeah and I'm so I'm negative guy. Oh, it's yeah. gonna suck. It's gonna be this, gonna be this, and it was just like the coolest place. So oh, I yeah. learned that like I gotta just chill surprises, and stand yeah. back, you yeah. know, yeah, exactly. So it's fun. I wish he quit. It's, all, smoking, it's always about the adventure, man. <laughs> it is about, and we've had some good rides. I thank everybody for watching. Uh, let's give this. Do we don't even need to give the phone number? We got who's on the line with us right now? Hi, my name is Michael. What's up, Michael? Where are you calling in from? I am in New Jersey. New Jersey. Wow. I think I'm going to New Jersey. I was going to ride to Asbury Park, but I think I'm going oh, to yeah. go to Coney Island because I've never been to Coney Island. Yeah. Asbury Where should I go? I'm about a half hour from Asbury. Should, is it worth, like the day that I would probably be there, which would be like in the late July, is that a place I should go to? Yeah, beaches are awesome. Yeah. East Coast beaches are kind of gross. <laughs> they are. No, they're really not. I mean, okay. it's different. It's different, but it's pretty. I I, I like Asbury Park. I Let me ask cool. you this question, my friend: If you won tickets to the Cat House thirtieth, would you honestly? Yep. Would you sell them? Because you just got to be honest. Would you sell them, or would you actually buy a plane ticket and come to LA to go to the Cat House thirtieth? 
I already have my plane ticket. I'm going to be going on the cruise, and I need to be there. Ah, I used to go to the Real Cat House every Tuesday night. Right oh, you did? On. You did. You, who were some of the bands you saw at the Cat House back in the day? <laughs> be honest, I don't really remember. Ah, you were there. You were there. there. Anybody <laughs> that gives me a list of... In 1991 90, yeah. when I lived there, but yeah. uh, Axel was always at the bar, and yeah. you and Shannon, and I'd see Slash over in the corner, and lots of people walking around hanging out. I'll never forget one of the earlier nights <laughs> of Slash falling down the stairs, carrying a plant, wearing a Cat House security shirt. How crazy was that? That was every crazy. Tuesday night. <laughs> that was called Tuesday. He was, I don't remember. Yeah, you were there. Well, it, I honestly, I just want to say this because I've kept the Cat House. I mean, the Cat House, yeah, I did Headbangers Ball and I do radio and stuff like this, but the Cat House is the one thing that I do feel the most proud of, believe it or not, because it's what I've had my hands in the most. So when I hear people from New Jersey, you know, talking about getting the tickets and to know that people like Gilby who have been such an influential and helpful part of the success of the club and that people are really interested in going makes me feel really good, but I'm, but Gilby, you really need to help me get some <laughs> kick-ass bands because I need people's jaws to drop. Uh, okay, now, but let's see. Uh, go. You've got a good question? I, got, I think i got a question. Obviously, he's a music fan, and since I'm here, it's going to be about me. As it should be. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what is the first video that I appeared in with Guns N' Roses, my first Guns N' Roses video? Oh, man. Aha. Uh -huh. Stumped him. Appeared in playing or just appeared yeah, in? Yeah, the first video I was in uh, with Guns N' Roses, my first appearance with them, yeah. Um, Actually, didn't play on the uh, song, but was in the video. Yeah, I'm thinking with... I'm thinking November Rain. Good job. Which Ricky may also have yeah, been. My that's my first Guns N' Roses video, too. Actually, all three my of us only were Guns in it. Roses. <laughs> I remember that because, remember, we were at the Rainbow. Mm -hmm. Till what time? Uh, well, yeah, till <laughs> probably the next day. Yeah, I don't remember we were what shooting time. at the all Rainbow, long, but yeah. it just took forever. Forever, yeah, yeah. Forever. I know this is kind of a... Oh, by the way. Dude, you're going to the Cat House Whiskey Show. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Congratulations, awesome. brother. I'm awesome. so happy. I'm so happy. Um, Tiny, thank you very much. Will you get the uh, the information? And Tiny, thank you very much for helping me a lot with this thing. I really appreciate it. Um, I, this I don't know if this is an odd subject for you because the Guns N' Roses thing I'm definitely not going to talk about. But um, have you seen any of the videos with Axel with ACDC? No, I haven't. You haven't? Yeah, I haven't. Okay, but, I but, but I've heard it. that he did a great job. And I don't doubt that he didn't, you know. He, I saw he did a I really never saw him job. do a bad show. You know, no. I mean, every show we did, he always put it all out there you know the one thing that i really liked about guns and roses mm -hmm. was that it was i mean sometimes too much but it was always unpredictable and yeah. it was real it, it was, was real and real is a, is and a the great beauty of seeing and there's so many bands right now that you know i'm not a fan of mm -hmm. because it just seems so controlled i'm sorry a lot of these bands and i know i sound like such a relic saying this mm -hmm. but so many of these bands just sound the same they've all got that you know the, whether it's the Nickelback Collective, so that whole kind of genre, and, and mm. it's still going on with a lot more bands that are yeah. sounding the same. Are there newer bands that you listen to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple new like, bands. Are, yeah. Yeah, there's like, there's a like, new band called uh, The Struts that I think are really saw good. Saw them. I saw them play at Carolina Rebellion. Oh, right on. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah kind of a Freddie Mercury-ish thing, uh, but they were good. I do think that they're, I, I love their their song. Um, I saw them live, too, and, and I think they're getting there live, you know, but I really love their song. I think their song is just is fantastic. Uh, Rival Sons is a great band. Blackberry Smoke, I mean, they're not new, but they're a great band. I, I think uh, The Hives, I love The Hives. There's, 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 there's a few good new bands. It's so funny because when we talk about new bands, like I remember somebody asking me like that long ago, oh, well, are there any? Because I, li I like a lot of heavier stuff, and they're like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, well, you know what's some new? But I go, oh, I'm a big fan of Slipknot that's been together for about 20, 20 years. 20 years, I know, <laughs> like, yeah, the they're a new band. Like, <laughs> I like Lamb of God. I like all that new stuff. But, um, I like that new band, Stone Sour. <laughs> Stone Sour, they're so great. And you, and you know what? This show, which we were going to talk about writing, I hope there's still people watching because I'm having so much fun, and I kind of wish I still lived well, I don't wish I lived there, but I'd love to do a show like this. But you have played on stage mm -hmm. with some of the most incredible people. Mm -hmm. Tell me some great people lately that you've been. Well, you know, here. we have this. We new mentioned band. Slipknot because you played with yeah, Corey. yeah, with Corey quite a few times. We, you know, we have this new all star band called Kings of Chaos, and the li lineup that has been lately. First, it's myself, uh, Duff, and Matt are, are the core of the band with Steve Stevens on guitar. But Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top has been in the band a lot, and Robin Zander of Cheap Trick. Anybody and, I've heard of? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Corey Taylor, Joe Elliott, um, geez, uh, Glenn Tyler. Hughes. What's that? Steven Tyler. Steven Tyler uh, was the lead singer of the band for a, a couple shows. I, it's I mean, really great. I, you played with Nancy Sinatra. Was there ever a moment on stage that you took a look and you got, 
Oh, you know what? I mean, we talk about it uh, quite a bit. Actually, I, I one of those moments where I actually stopped and like you know said, you know what? Let me enjoy this moment. Was uh, GNR when we played the Rose Bowl, and uh, and I have a section where it's my solo where I come out and I play Wild Horses, and then Slash comes out and joins me. But that moment, standing up there by myself at the Rose Bowl, was really great. And and one more, um, my solo band we opened for Aerosmith in uh, Argentina, and it was eighty thousand people. And they were singing all my songs back to me. And, and, and they speak Spanish. And if you don't know, Gilby Clark's got good, some really good solo good, stuff. He's got yeah, some I got really three good, good solo songs. Stuff. No. <laughs> no, you've got some really good solo stuff. And, uh, and the thing that was great is because Gilby was the guy that we all knew back in, in, in the day. And it was, you were working like Man. roadying or cleaning yeah. up at Madame I mean, Wong's yeah, I was, or I was, whatever. No, I was doing sound at uh, Wong's and the lingerie. I was doing sound at the lingerie when I got my GNR gig. That's good. That's, we like those stories. And Daniel was there for the whole thing. <laughs> everybody, the good thing is now, let me just get this straight because I, I want to thank everybody from T Radio V or maybe it's Xena TV. I'm not really sure. Um, this will be on video so people can watch it later, right? So we can give the right for people that didn't see the show, which saying this wouldn't really make sense right now, but it's going to be banked. So if you had a good time and you want to tell all your friends to watch it, it's going to be on Xena TV and here, here come in, Tiny, because I want to say thank you for. Uh, all the, and just just to get his mug on one second, and thank all the guys. What's everybody's name in there again? What, do you uh, know Tiny? Billy Bob, uh, you don't have the names. All the here, get everybody coming in. But thank thank <laughs> you guys for helping me out and doing the show, and I really do appreciate it. I had a good time. And Tiny, thank you for coming Tiny. through. And Gilby, and I want to thank Tammy for calling in, and Billy Duffy. We'll be honest with you, we really thought Billy would flake on this ride. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think the odds are of him going on the ride? I think he he, he did it on I think air, it's 100%. Man. Yeah, 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 I think, I it's, think it's pretty good. So, uh, Ricky's Ride starts Monday. I'll go to Mexico to rickysride.com and follow it, and uh, you'll see these guys on it. And uh, what do you got, Tiny? You got anything coming up? Nothing. Oh, come on. But he'll be at are the Ultimate there? Jam and at the Lucky Strike uh, sound check, right? <laughs> if, you want a good drummer, if you want to see a good drummer, Tiny's a good drummer, and he cares about animals. Here's about homeless animals. Gilby didn't mention jam with me often enough. Huh? I, I can't hear him. That you never met, that you never jam with Tiny. I, Change I, the subject. I, we're off the air. You can't hear you. I, I can't hear him. <laughs> breaking in this, this is what I do. Just say break, we're breaking up. I'm going through the canyon right now. It's breaking up. Everybody, thank you very much. Uh, please uh, go to go to Ricky'sRide.com and click on the CHF and give a little bit of money for the Chelsea Hutchinson Foundation. And uh, again, thank you for T Radio V. And thank you, big thank you to Death Wish Coffee, Hot Leathers, Law Tigers, Biltwell, and for my family that really hates when I go on these rides. So, and thank you guys for stopping by. And I had a good time. And bye.